So I've always had this idea or this belief in the back of my head that anything you can do, I can do, right? And I really sat back and I was like, yo, where did this idea come from? Because a lot of people, when they're on their spiritual journey doing your shadow work, or if you're just like in the self-improvement phase, a lot of people tend to focus on the things that they, that they need to fix, but you don't give as much attention to the good things that you do. Hey man, like I've been working out since I was like 10. Where, what made me want to work out so much as a 10 year old? And you ask yourself these questions. Sometimes it's just as important to focus on some of the good things. Of course, go dig up all that stuff. Go fix all those bad things that are holding you holding your life back. Go find those. But also make sure you give some attention to the good things that you do as well. You know, so this is something that I'm doing. You know, I'm trying to like practice what I preach, right? So I sat in meditation and I asked myself, where did this idea come from? You know, because you have to remember everything that you see in your physical reality in some shape, form or capacity started off as a thought or an idea or some type of programming in your mind. And then it gets projected out into your world. That's just how all of my manifestation videos, that's how, th that's how it works. That's how life works. It's all about like getting really good at that and controlling what's going in there because what comes in comes out. You know, what goes into your mind, what you start to believe comes out into your physical experience. So I really think about this. My physical reality comes after my mind. Wait a minute. My whole entire life, I've been around people that were the best and people that I emulated, you know, whether it's like the like all throughout, like, you know, kindergarten through 12th grade, like people have been the best at baseball, the best at football. I've been around them, some of the best soccer players. You know, I've been around uh, people like in like in college, the people that are the best at talking to girls, you know, this type of stuff. I had to live vicariously through my friends. So I was like, hey, <laughs> do you think? But like I, I'm around some big players like these, these are my friends. You know, throughout my entire life, I'm surrounded by people that are the best at something. Middle school, I'm like friends with the valedictorian. You know, like that was actually middle school and high school. I'm friends with the valedictorian, like the top three people. Like I'm cool with them. It's like, yo, like this always happens. And this is something that I was starting to think about as I was meditating. I was like, yo, so my thoughts made my life. So where did this come from? So as I was sitting in meditation, right? I asked myself, where did this idea come from that anything people can do, I can do just as well, not better. But I started hearing the song. I started hearing that song. Anything you can do, I can do better. Like, anything you can do, I can do better. Like I've been hearing that song. I was like, okay, okay. I'm sitting here. It's coming to me. But why am I hearing this song? And then like a little picture popped up. And it was like a commercial that used to play every single morning. As my mom was helping me get ready for school in like kindergarten, one of the first commercials one of the first things i heard every single morning was anything you can do i can do better and i heard that song over and over every single morning for like a solid month i remember this you know and luckily that type of programming benefited my life like when i got low in my real life you know you know went through the trials and tribulations you know most of them you know it's like i got to the point where i, I was always able to pick myself up because something my dad taught me he said you were oliver boy get your ass up yo you got this i'm like yeah 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 no nah, all these other people out there having a good life all these other people having fun and doing yo i can do this too come on get your shit together and i would just say this type of stuff to myself so it was always my saving grace it was always my safety net that was something that was implanted or installed in my mind at such a young age. So when I fall from me lear learning all this stuff at the, my higher ages, you know, 17, 18, 19 plus, you know, whenever I fell, boom, I always had that safety net that's always been there to get you back up. If they can do it, I can do it, right? So I really want people to understand how you are being programmed. What's the first thing you do in the morning? You know, a lot of people, the first thing you do when you wake up is complain about having to get ready for work. Don't get me wrong. I still do it from time to time. I can't lie. Y'all know how I feel about work. But, you know, like you wake up in the morning, like, yo, what the man? Yo, it's too early. Yo, it's too dark. Yo, I don't feel like doing this. The first thing you do every single morning is complain about something. You know, the first thing you do in the morning is turn on some music that has a crappy message. You are programming yourself. You know, like I say, like the records, like things that are repeated all the time. You know, why do you know, why do people know the hooks of song more than like the full song? You know, most people don't know any of the lyrics to a song, but they know the hook because the hook is repeated over and over and over. And you can keep hearing that and it's like, okay, cool. I now know this part because I keep repeating it. That's why your life is the way it is because you keep repeating the same bad thoughts in your head. And what happens in your mind gets put out into your reality, right? So change your morning routine. 
You know, start every single morning off by doing something positive, whether it's affirmations, whether it's even stretching, you know, whether it's, it's something even as simple as drinking a fresh glass of water. The first thing you do, try not to complain, try not to say anything stupid. Just walk up, get some water and be like, ah, that was refreshing. So now your first thought was that was refreshing. And you start to make a routine off of that. Once again, I'm just spitballing things. You do what you got to do. You know, like a lot of people, you know, one of the things I had to do when I was in college, you know, one of the things I had to do when I was trying to like, after like I had my fight with God <laughs> and, you know, and I got to say, screw this. It's like, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to try to like get through this last year. One of the things I used to do was smile in the mirror. You know, because it literally says like you can't. It's like it's, it's, I can't remember the exact wording, but it's like, yeah, how can you be mad with a smile on your face? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I would literally force myself. At first, I had to force myself. I had to force myself to smile. I just stand there. All right, whatever. And I would go. But each day, like I added like a second to it, a second to it. And they say like, if you are really down in the dumps, try to smile for a minute every single morning. So get into the mirror and just smile. But like, don't don't cheese it. Like, no, like, actually, Jay, try to find something to smile about. But, yo, I stood up this morning. Yo, that's, that's something I could talk about. All right, cool. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? You like, and it's simple stuff like that that will make such a drastic change. Because, it's, like I said, when I was in kindergarten, the first thing I heard every morning was that song. So, the first thing you start to see every morning is you stretching. The first thing that you start to see every morning is you, or like you stretching, you smiling. <laughs> like that's the first thing you see every morning. You see yourself stretching every morning. You see yourself reading every morning. You see yourself, you know, meditating every morning. You, your first thing that your mind is ready to do is see something positive for yourself. So you need to start doing that. Everyone needs to start doing that. Of course, meditation might not be your thing. Smiling in your smiling at yourself like a psychopath in the mirror might not be your thing. But find yours. Find something that's positive. If you like music, you know, you wake up and the first thing you do is put some music on, fine. But make sure it's the cheesiest, happiest song ever. Like, you know, don't let it be your alarm. Do not make it your alarm because that, that associates it with you waking up like, ugh, and you hear this cheesy song. No, let that be your first thing. The first thing you do, if, if the first thing you do is pick up your phone, put on that happy-go-lucky song and start dancing around while you're brushing your teeth in the morning. You know, I'm just spitballing. Do what you got to do. You know, like men out there, you know, people that are training for sports, men and women's sports, first thing you do, wake up, do some squats. Wake up, do some push-ups, do some crunches. Make the first thing you do something positive. Something that's benefiting your life, and that's going to be the, the 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 new foundation for your mind. You know, you want to get all the crappy stuff out, put the good stuff in. You know, it's really simple. The hardest part about, you know, self-improvement and, like, forming new habits is starting it. You know, and it's really corny, and a lot of people say it, but Nike says just do it. Because once you just do it, like, once you get on the ground, you just roll out of the bed, fall out of the bed, and just, like, push yourself and start doing push-ups. You know, at first, it's going to be like, it's going to be a conscious task, but then it's going to become your new muscle memory. You know, what would you rather have? Your muscle memory making you, like, bigger, buffer, stronger, happier, you know, more positive, more loving of your body, more loving of yourself, more optimistic of your future? Or something that's going to make you complain, make you feel sad, make you feel angry? You know what I mean? Ask yourself these questions and start making these changes in your life. To the next one.